Whoa. Is it really happening? Oh, we have our camera. Reggie, please come in. <laughs> OB1 plays. Yes, right. What's up? Hello, All right. OB1 plays. What is going on, everybody? How are y'all doing? We have some new breaking PlayStation 5 news. We have a couple of dope news items for this video, but before we get started, give the video a thumbs up. All right, the first news item is a doozy. A new PlayStation 5 feature has been announced, causing many to speculate the return of the king in Japan, sort of. But Sony has just announced that the PlayStation 5 will get DVR functionality in Japan by the way of a new app that work with its Nasne tuners. This has come from TheVerge.com, but it's not just a new PlayStation 5 feature that has perked up some ears. This Torn was originally a TV tuner add-on for the PlayStation 3 that was released in 2010 and allowed you to save broadcast shows to your console's hard drive and transfer them to a PlayStation Portable or PlayStation Vita. So this was a functionality that worked in tandem with Sony's portable devices. Now, we know that the Switch is killing it. That's an understatement. Destroying it in Japan. Sony has all but left Japan and they're pretty much a Western developer as you can see in their games they are catering to a Western audience why Japan loves the handhelds bro and so the only way in my opinion Sony can get their footing back in Japan would be to release another PlayStation type portable device and the technology is there now so Stay tuned, pun intended, get it, TV tuner. Stay tuned for any breaking news on a PlayStation portable type device, which the smoke is starting to flare up in that area of a PlayStation type portable device. That is the only way, the only way in my opinion, Sony can um, counter what Nintendo is doing right now in Japan and so a new PlayStation 5 feature has been announced and in the past this feature went alongside a port um, Sony's portable devices E3 June not E3 but June is usually where big bombshell announcements are made what if Sony surprises us with a PlayStation handheld device launches this holiday and plays all the same games as a PlayStation 5, but like 1080p, a 1080p screen or something like that. That would be game changing. I'm telling you, the Vita, dope hardware. This you could still play this today. Dope hardware, but the drawback was the software. They tried to have a home console experience in this form factor that just didn't work. The Uncharted games weren't the same. They try to make two separate types of games. But if all of the games on your PlayStation 5 can just work natively on a handheld device, they would have something. They would have something special. All right, the news keeps going today. Bro, we're gonna be getting PlayStation 5 game announcements all day long that's right sony has just announced <coughs> a playstation indie day 
where all day today, every half an hour, every 30 minutes, they're going to be announcing an all new indie game. The first one at 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time was Operation Tango. Seems like a spy game. And so every 30 minutes today, a new indie game will be announced. So stay tuned to PlayStation's official Twitter. That's where they're going to be making the announcements as well as their YouTube channel, I think. So um, we're going to be getting um, PlayStation 5 announcements all day long. Indie games, though. Indie games. But there may be a couple that piques your interest. So I can't wait to see what they announce all day long, which I think is dope that they're doing this. Bro. The next news item. I talked about this yesterday, but it's officially official. PlayStation has tweeted it out. Jade Raymond, this is what their um, Sony um, PlayStation has on their official Twitter. Jade Raymond introduces Haven, a new Montreal-based game development studio working on an original new IP for PlayStation. So an all new studio has been developed by Jade Raymond. She comes from great pedigree. I think I mentioned yesterday she worked for big on big Ubisoft games in the past and they're going to be working on an all new original IP for PlayStation. So an all new exclusive will be coming to the PlayStation 5. Can't wait to see what this game will be time will tell but more than likely it's going to be a dope 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 game bro the news keeps on coming an all new trailer for returnal just dropped today this is fresh off the press and heavy metroid vibes she lands on an alien planet they show her ship and this is new to the story breaking news she lands with no gun so she has to upgrade it seems like she's gonna find a gun she has to upgrade her inventory hmm what other game does that and so the game looks dope the gameplay looks fantastic third person perspective this is I just tweeted this out on Twitter. This game has quickly shot up to one of my most anticipated games. It comes out in next month at the end of April. Returnal, a PlayStation 5 exclusive. And the game just looks dope, 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 dope. Speaking of dope games, I finally played Outriders yesterday on my PlayStation 5. The demo is now available. The game is lit. I'm liking the game so far. Um, I like the story, but just the gameplay, the graphics. It's just a fantastic, fantastic game. I will be playing more of Outriders. If any sponsor has Outriders, we can play it together on my gaming channel. Obi One Plays Gaming Championship. The game has online multiplayer, but it is a dope, 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 dope game. Oh, and here is the official press release from the new studio that's working on the PlayStation exclusive. This is what um, um, uh, the head of the studio, Jade, has says. And so today I'm announcing Haven, an independent studio where many of the talented game developers, interesting information, I have worked with for years are coming together to do what we most we're most passionate about it's time for us to focus on games in a place where we can practice our crafts without any barriers or impediments they could do what they want we want to create worlds where players can escape have fun express themselves and find community we want to pour our passion into a project we want to make something wondrous for people to experience because we believe in the power of games to bring joy to people's lives and sony does too their commitment to excellence is unmatched it's why i couldn't be happier for their backing and support and so it seems like sony is publishing whatever game that they're going to be working on can't wait to see what's produced but those are all the news items for this video 
What do you guys think about everything we talked about? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming, bro. We out. Peace.